Hey guys, welcome to Smart Tips and Tricks. This week I'm going to teach you how to make a very simple but extremely effective wild turkey call. So ever since man started hunting the wild turkey, having a way to call the turkey has been a need. Whether it was a wing bone or a, a leaf or uh, some of the more modern diaphragm calls or box calls, there's always been a need to uh, call wild turkeys and make a call. And the first calls were absolutely homemade. So today we're gonna make one that uh, is my favorite to do. And so I've taken uh, for years a 35 millimeter film can, old Kodaks, they're hard to find now. I had to buy these on eBay. Uh, but uh, you can take a film can and make a very effective tube call. So the way I do it, I've spent a lot of time studying the uh, dynamics of these calls and the way that the uh, air impacts them. But I start by cutting the moon or a half moon in the turkey call in the lid. And you want to take that lid and come around, trim it out. That's what it starts to look like. And then I make it a little wider and always bevel the edge there because your upper lip rests against it sometime and it's nice to have just a nice smooth edge. And you want to take just about half of the lid. That's just a little bit small. I'm going to take just a little more. So you get about a half moon in the lid. And then I've experimented with the holes in the bottom. Most of your commercial tube calls will have one big hole in the bottom. And what I've learned over time is that it gives that tube call a tin sound or a uh, not really good turkey sound. So about 35 years ago I started experimenting with the arrangement of the holes in the bottom. I would drill quarter inch holes, I drilled eighth inch holes, I drilled lots of holes, I drilled one hole. Uh, but I landed on a 560 force bit. A sixteenth is too small and an eighth is too big. But the configuration are 14 to 17 holes in the bottom of this lid or the bottom of this canister. I start with 14 and then uh, if the particular call needs a little more volume, I'll do 15, 16, or 17. I've never had to have one with more than 17 in it to get the sound I want. But I'll drill a hole in the top. Again, this is 564. And I get in between them. And I know from experience that it takes a 14. So there's eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So you end up with 14 holes across the bottom. No particular pattern, but spread them out a little bit. And then for latex, I use latex gloves. Uh, I take the glove, you can get several reeds out of it. I slice across the top and I take the cuff off. Now save the cuff because you need a rubber band or the cuff is what I use when you put the reed across the call to hold it on there. So I, I just save the cuff end of the, band, of the glove. But I take the main parts, cut the fingers off, I, I don't use those. And you end up with a piece uh, that was the palm and the back side of the glove. And then come through there and cut it in half again. And then uh, I'll eventually cut several reeds out of here, but I'm going to put a reed on and start to tune this call a little bit and then I start to call. Well, that's just about the right volume I like on the call so I don't think I'm going to add any more holes. But you got the reed, you got the half moon, place it across your lip like this. So to make the call, you're going peep, peep, peep to do the yelp. <laughs> to do the clock is just tuck, tuck, or cut. You can cluck or cut based on how much volume you give it and how much intensity. The first film canister I had, I, I've used it for probably 25 years ago, and or so, and uh, it, it started to um, uh, crack and dry rot, and it had, had a crack in it. And I noticed when I messed with that crack, I started getting different pitches and tones. So on the newer ones now, I, I wouldn't tell just everybody this, because it's kind of my secret. 
And I take and I put a couple of, of uh, slits down the side, about a half inch apart, not quite. And I do it on each side just about where my finger is going to rest. So there's where my finger is and my thumb's going to rest here. So I'll put one on this side. And what I've learned to do with those slits is to change some of the pitch, tone, and volume of the call by pressing on those slits when I call. So without pressing, hear that difference in the pitch and the tone? That's from, it's almost like a, like a trumpet player using their fingers to move the, the different notes on the trumpet. But it's uh, with your thumb and forefinger as you call. I also control the volume with my finger on the front, covering up holes. A lot of hunters use the tube call to locate, and those are great calls to locate. In fact, an old dear departed friend of mine, Carl Brown, he always made a uh, pill bottle call, and he would take an ice pick, heat it up, and put it through there. This call is a great locator call because it has a lot of volume. You'll hear the difference. Uh, out in the west, western part of the country, hunting big, like the Black Hills, where we're at today, or a big, big uh, woods country, a lot of volume and uh, the ability to call uh, and locate from a long ways away is nice. But what I like about the film can is you can control the volume and you can actually work turkeys in close because you can control the volume. There's a lot of pride in making your own turkey call and satisfaction and then calling in, taking a turkey with a call that you made. So I hope this will help you add another call to put in your vest, help you out on a turkey hunt. If you would, like and subscribe. And if you have your own homemade call, uh, drop us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching this week on Smart Tips and Tricks.